a trillion and a half for the chicken back. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, this is a video I want you to pay attention to. So the Prime Minister him gone down in a Montego Bay. Yes, down in a Montego Bay, St. James. A talk about a new market where them a build. The market are recently burned out. And we know so them a do it for politics, you know. A vote them a looking and a support them a look. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, while them down there a gallivant and a chat and a make big promise, I want you to pay attention to what some people were shouting in the background. I want you to pay attention to what the people them a say. I want you to look on him face. I want you to listen what the Prime Minister responds to the people them. Can they that chat, a chat, a chat? And the people them a talk up the things them. And my viewers and subscribers, Everywhere we see the Prime Minister, this is how we must greet him. This is how we must talk, and these are the things we must say. Watch the video. Me live on now, then I got the tongue, roll up down in and not not there. It's time to listen with the same. They've been here for years. Only when election time in come round. No, 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 no. See Mr. Chang there. Mr. Chang, me live a paradise and know me. The place need police station at Uga. These days, we don't just write check and send it out. We can't do that these days. And the right way to do it is that if somebody is to get a benefit, if somebody say them lose votes, then we have to go and Proof. check it. Yeah. Right. A three hundred and a four for chicken back. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, we can't sleep with the windows and doors open all now. I'll know we can't sleep with the windows and doors open. Him come like him forget the promise, but we don't forget the promise. My viewers and subscribers may ask you to like the video. Yeah. Like the video and share the video. Everywhere you see him, you must say we can't sleep with the windows and doors open. I'll know. The next thing I want you to pay attention to, when you hear what him say, these days we can't just write check a note. No, we can't do that anymore. That means say him admits that something we used to go on. But them used to just write check out and out and do what them want. My viewers and subscribers, all you have to do is listen to him, you know. Cock mode, kill cock. All you have to do is just listen to him and him expose himself. If God don't have sent uh, James, don't have my bill, I talk about new market and who are going to get benefit and who are going to get benefit. We know it's a political view, but watch the full story and we're going to talk after. Watch the video. Reprieve is coming that assurance from the government of vendors who were affected by fire at the Old Shoes Market in St. James last year. Hal Shane Burke reports. The fire happened weeks before the festive season and hampered scores of vendors who were looking to beef up sales during the period. But with just nine days gone out of the new year, a promise to the vendors that the help they have requested is coming. Deputy Mayor of Montego Bay, Richard Vernon, says the requisite drawings for the improved facility have been completed and these have received approval not only from the municipal corporation but also the vendors. When fully renovated, Mr. Vernon says some 250 persons will be able to sell their goods there. Speaking during a tour of the facility with Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Monday, the Deputy Mayor says the corporation is now seeking funding to have the building reconstructed. No timeline was, however, given for work to begin or conclude. As for the vendors, Prime Minister Andrew Holness says the timeline has been extended for those affected to make their claims. So far, when I check, 40 of the 41 of the vendors have submitted their reports to the Ministry of Labour and Social Security. Vendors have submitted 
their reports to the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. I have asked them to continue to accept reports. So if there are vendors who have not yet sent their reports, I'd urge you to do it now. Mr. Holness says only those who go through the approved process will receive state assistance. These days, we don't just write check and send it out. We can't do that these days. And the right way to do it is that if somebody is to get a benefit, if somebody said them lose goods, then we have to go and check it. Right. So everybody who is going to get a benefit, which we have committed to assist everyone who has had damage, come with your relevant documentation and we will be able to assist or we will be able to investigate your circumstances to see if you right. are genuine in me. The Prime Minister in the meantime had high praises for the Deputy Mayor. Because the way in which he has gone about it, he has gone first of all in consultation with the vendors, consultation with the wider community, come up with a plan. It's the first I've come to somewhere and say, are you satisfied with the plan? And everybody say yes. Hal Shane Burke, TVJ News. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, you know, that video brings to light, you know, what a few can do. Because I know him feel away, my viewers and subscribers. When you hear the man turn around and say he can't do now, what do you mean by if the people him can't do now? You are the Prime Minister, you come and you make big, big problem. But I promise, and you do fulfill the promise. And you come and sweet up the people them now, and the people them know as sweet as sweet them up. And them ask you the question, and I'm inform you at the same time that them can't sleep with them windows and them doors open. Him do even respond to the people them. The people them attacks are trundle and pound for chicken back, and them can't afford this, and them can't afford that. My viewers and subscribers, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. And sometimes somebody has to stand up and I applaud these people for standing up. I applaud them whether they few they be in numbers, at least they make them voice be heard and me and you are see it. And it had an effect because if it vex and if you see him face look like bullfrog, at them time them look like brother Devan. Look on him face, pan him, pan him picture. When time the people him attack him, burn him. And he make up him face like bullfrog like him would have blow down the people him. But more Jamaica need to stand up and talk and ask him about the promises them we make. When we election a come round, we know say a uh, local government election soon call and him a walk around the country and make promise and a give out and a give out and a give out. I do stop the people him from taking things them. Some people say them would take it and vote him out. Some say them not take it, them just plan to vote him out. Whatever decision them take, whether they plan to take it or not, them need to get rid of him. It is also important to listen to what the man say, that these days we can't just write check and send them out. So that means that they used to do it in the past. It is something that he is admitting that they used to do it in the past, but for whatever, but for whatever reason, they can't do it anymore. My brothers and subscribers, I tell you, all you have to do is to listen to this man. All you have to do is to listen to this man. I will know if them said that the market, what them are going to build cost one billion dollars. We know it's going to have 500 million it cost and them are keep the other 500 million in a them pocket. We know it's how so them go to work. And you see election time, they are walk around and walk around and walk around. And hear the people them are talk and admit to election time, them alone them come around. My brothers and subscribers, do make them fool or no. Vote them out. Please remember to like the video. Please remember to share the video. I remember to type in the comments and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Jamaica Hot Topic. Big up.